Hello there and welcome to the Aloft Air Control applying for a lance authorization on mobile and web dashboard video tutorial. My name is Erica Cooley, Head of Community here at Aloft, and today I will be walking you through how to apply for a lance authorization on the Aloft Air Control platform on both mobile uh, for iOS and Android and desktop uh, web dashboard. To get started, I will demo on desktop first and then we'll follow showing you on mobile how to apply for a lance authorization. To begin applying for a lance on Aloft Air Control's web dashboard, navigate to air.aloft.ai and sign in. Once you sign in, you will be navigated to the location on the map that where you are at you can search your necessary flight location on the map by using this top search bar option and you can come up here to zoom out you can come up here to the left hand corner and click the plus or the minus button up in the very top right left and for the purposes of today's video tutorial, we're going to apply for a Lance authorization in the San Francisco area. So I need to fly here near Broadmoor. So I'm gonna drop my pin there. You can see that here on the right hand side is our airspace advisory um, Bar, which gives information about the UAS facility map. We're in this blue class B airspace surrounding the San Francisco air, airport. Um, and where we dropped our pin is a 400 foot grid. So you can see that here is designated on the map where our pin is located. Uh, we could drop down this San Francisco class B airspace that says this is KSFO, uh, controlled airspace. So we would need to apply for a lance authorization. So from here, now that we have our airspace selected, we'll come up here and under create or request a new, on the right hand toolbar here, we'll click Lance and it has the checkbox next to it. So we'll click that. And then from here, we can begin to enter all of the data that is going to pertain to this operation. So for the purposes of today's uh, operation, we'll say that I am the pilot I'm the operator, you could, um, most likely it'll just be you on your account. Um, and then under date, you would click this calendar icon, select the date, so we'll select today. Then here we have the time, you can click the clock icon to select it that way, or you could type in 3 p.m. and we'll select that we're going to have our operations uh, for a duration of one hour. Come over here to height you're going to select the 400 foot grid in this case this will automatically adjust based off of the uh, maximum uh, permissible altitude for auto authorization for the grid that you are in then um, you can select whether this is a create a recreational or a commercial operation for the purposes of this demonstration we'll select commercial and then under location, we have a few different options. This is something that's really nice with using the web dashboard um, in comparison to, to applying on mobile where you're just you know having to use your hands, your fingers to select the area. Here you could um, input a GeoJSON file or you could use any of these uh, shape options here. So if you had a circle, you can change to a circle option. So you can see that changes to a circle. Click here to, to do a square polygon. So that's our standard square here. Or you can go back to draw with that polygon shape. And let's say that we need to extend these corners out to reach a little further down. You can do that as well, creating a completely custom space. You can click this expand map 
and this will allow you to see a larger view of your airspace in which you're selecting for your lands op operation. You can click OK, that'll minimize that. And then from here, we will scroll down. We will scroll down um, and you'll see these are just some of the notes about uh, all the different types of parameters that you can submit for a lands authorization. So now we'll click on this bottom right hand corner and click next. And you'll see here that we received our eligible for auto approval for that location that we selected on the map. And there is um, some important information here that you can read about stadiums, if that applies to the area that you're in, um, as well as more information about operating in controlled airspace. After you've read that, you can click this next button in the lower right hand corner. Get some of the information about the pilot. If you're applying for part 107, your part 107 number will be here along with your issue date, um, some general information about lands, privacy statement, and then the terms of operations information that you should read through to make sure you understand what you're agreeing to. And then click down in this bottom right hand corner, agree and submit. And then you will receive that authorized lands authorization. Um, you can get some of the details down here. You'll also see this under your authorizations in the logs section of the web dashboard here on air control. And if we scroll back up, we can actually click on this map and it will take us to that area and you can see that we have a lance authorization here. You can come to this side airspace advisory bar and we'll see the UAS facility map tab, but we'll also be able to click more. And this is our lance authorization, which will give that information about the operator, the height, the maximum um, altitude that you can fly up to, the duration, start and end time, and then a link actually linking you to your lands authorization, which would come back to this page here. You can also come up here and there is an option to print your lands authorization if you need it. It will save it as a PDF and then you can print that off if a paper copy is something that you like to have. But as you can see, when we move onto the uh, mobile app, this process of applying for a lands will translate directly when you're logged in on that same account on the air control app. So let's hop over to the Aloft Air Control application and we'll look at this Lance that we applied for and then we will move on and apply for a new Lance using the mobile application. So you can see here upon opening the Air Control application on a mobile device, we are taken to the map and then we'll come down here into the search bar. We'll type in the San Francisco area where we applied for our lands authorization. We'll zoom out a little bit. And then if we come over here to the Broadmoor area, we'll see that same lands authorization that was on desktop here now on our mobile device logged into that same account. If we wanna get some more information, we can swipe up and look at the airspace advisory bar information below. And you'll see here that that same lands authorization with the information of myself as the operator, the maximum height, and the start and end time are all reflected here on the mobile app of Air Control. Of Air Control. So now let's apply for a lands authorization on a mobile device. So we'll drop our pin above our Lance authorization and we will click on the third option, which is the Lance button on the right. And then we'll select commercial for the purposes of this operation. And then we can take those um, drawing tools. So we can draw our polygon any shape that we want. So we'll just extend this one corner out long and we'll select 400 feet as our max altitude, as that is the maximum uh, height for permissible altitude for this area. We'll select our date and our time. 
And then we will select the duration. So we'll select an hour for this operation. And then you can look through these Lance notes as well. This will be the same as on the desktop version. Click next. Then we'll get our pre-check results showing that indeed we can uh, gain access for up to 400 feet for the KSFO area. We'll see our review information and submit to the FAA. This is all the same information from the desktop version. Once you've read through all this, you can click the agree and submit button. And then you will receive a text message to the phone number that is associated with the account. You can see that here. It'll show your lands authorization number and that your authorization has been approved. And then when we look on the map, we will see that under our airspace advisory bar, there is that information about the lands that we just received. And we'll see it on the map as well. And that concludes our video tutorial on how to apply for a Lance authorization on the web dashboard and mobile app of the Aloft Air Control platform. If you have any questions, please reach out to us directly at support at aloft.ai and we will assist you in any way we can to help you through the process of using the air control platform. And as always, fly safe and fly often.